Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to annotate a data visualization with Google Slides. The idea here is uh, simply to use the, the nice drawing tools of Google Slides to add some text and some explanations to your data visualizations quite simply. So the first step is to create um, a new um, slide deck like this one and then I'm going to add a blank slide and I will import an image from my computer. So here is the timeline.png visualization that I want to annotate. So the idea of annotating is basically to draw attention on what's important in the picture. So I pick here a, a circle. Let me close that. And I will highlight this spike here. With shift you can have a nice round. Okay. So one way to do it is to have a transparent fill like that. And then we can add an arrow to point at that. And then we can add an explanation. So what to write here? Let's look at the data in Tableau. So this spike happened the 5 October 2016. Let's put that in the annotation. It also had 21,000 views for the page space-based solar power. Let's put that in the annotation too. And that's it. Um, we can improve that a little bit. So here's a few things I, I would like to do if it were just for me. Um, I want, I would rather have a, a highlight that is in color. That way I can also color code things. So to do that, you can have, um, you could pick a color like that and no border. But of course, if you do that, then you will not be able to see the, the image that is in the background. So we want a transparent color. You do not have the choice here, but you can add it right here. Okay, and then I probably want my annotation to follow that code. So this line is probably better, a little bit thicker. I like that blue. Maybe that writing can be blue too. Where's the color for the text? Maybe right here. Yeah, and you could also put a background color for the text block. There are many things you can do. So the, the tools you can use are all these shapes, including arrow shapes, and all these lines, including arrows. And the arrows uh, connect to the boxes if you use the, the anchor points. Let me show you that. Duplicate it. Yep. And now I can connect this anchor to that anchor. And this allows the arrows to be maintained, even though I, I move the boxes. OK, so of course, the, the annotation is not just about describing the content. I am supposed to actually find an explanation as for why there is a, sp a spike. I'm not going to do that right here, but it's important to mention it. So explain. Um, give an insight about what the data shows. That's the purpose of the annotation. Once this is done, um, of course you could just show that slide in a slide deck, but it's useful for other purposes, like putting that into a text or whatever, to export it again. So that's what we are going to do uh, now. You can download this image. If you just wanted it just alone, you could download the as a PDF, but I'm going to use a JPEG or PNG. This is just the image and you can copy-paste that wherever you want and it's going to be exactly the way you want. That's it.